Hey gang, Jack Lair here. Um, just having some morning coffee on Sunday as I used to do and kind of lost track uh, of days and weeks and years and time. But uh, my son bought uh, me this game, uh, Vampire Survivors. You may have seen other people playing it. Uh, I've played it a little bit. Um, so, for instance, I have unlocked uh, a handful of characters, and we'll look at them in a bit. But <clears throat> as you can see, I have some, some gold up here, uh, and I have not powered anything up. I have obtained some of the items and some of the achievements, but I haven't looked at the power-up stage at the power-up screen at all, just because... I don't know what any of this does. Okay, so... Cool down. Looks like these do basically what the... What a lot of the things in the game do. Because you can get the max health and all that. And I think these are permanent upgrades. So... Alright, that's 900. That's a lot. That cooldown can come in handy, though. That's 5,000. Okay, so let's make everybody do a little bit more damage. And... Item pickup range. Okay, so, the Vampire Survivors. Um, I don't remember who this is made by. Let's look at the credits. There we go. Luca Galant? Galante? David Brown, but, all right, so let's get in here, uh, uh, there's Antonio, which he deals 10% more damage every 10 levels he gets, uh, Imelda Pas Pasqualina, Pasqualina, uh, Gennaro, Arca, I believe it's pronounced Portia, but I'm not... 100%, and then Poe I haven't unlocked yet. Um, let's so let's just start with Antonio, and we're going to uh, stick with the Mad Forest because the inlaid library is super weird. But uh, this is a the only the only hand I'm going to need is uh, well I'm going to need both of them. This one just to click OK at certain points, but basically it's just WASD. And you just kind of move around. And the attacks happen automatically. So right now he's got the whip. Oh, mistimed it. And you can see a little blue bar filling up there over wherever it is. Okay, so got Santa water. Which damaging zones down garlic, which is the one that we're gonna take, and then clock lance it chance to freeze enemies in there in time. That one may actually become more important later on, but this is we're gonna go with the garlic, and this puts this little circle around me, which basically means that anything that gets that close gets a little pulse of damage. Now the reason that I wanted this one specifically is because the for me playing this a handful of times. You notice that the whip only goes one way. Now the upgrade to the whip makes it go left and right. So having something that will do damage up and down is very beneficial to me. These are torches and they give different, they can give uh, money, they can give health. I believe in certain instances they will give little power ups. Okay. So now we've got some choices. We've got the knife, which I don't like because I actually hate the noise that it makes. It just makes a little noise, and we'll see that later. Uh, the cross, which aims at the nearest enemy and then boomerangs backwards. Uh, helpful at times, but other times completely useless. So we're going to go with the rune tracer, which uh, it's random. Lols. So we'll go there. And then... There it goes. So it just fires and bounces around. Uh, 
and you know, it does stuff. But basically this is it, we're just gonna... Alright, so there, if you see we got a big red gem that popped in. Now here's... I don't really like any of these. Okay, so we'll, I want to show you what the, the game does. So, armor reduces damage. Big deal. Wings move faster. Big deal. Santa water creates damaging zones. And it may sound like, that sounds awesome, right? Well, yes and no. Alright, so we're going to have... We'll go with the whip. So now the whip shoots forward and backwards, or left and right. And there's the magic water. Sorry, I just pointed at the screen. I can't though, but you see it right here. And it's good, but the problem is is that the entire game is kind of like kill confirmed. Because even if you kill monsters, you don't get the experience until you pick up the gems that they drop. Which can mean, if you can get it to fall in the right spot, that can become very helpful. And there's a big... Okay, so we're gonna get the the Bible, which does... Now these are... There it is. So calling them Castlevania sub-weapons is a bit reductive, but it's not entirely inaccurate. Okay. We don't need to be luckier. The lightning ring. Nah, nah, let's, let's go for the clock. Lancet? Oh, that's kind of cool. Didn't we have the special bat up? Did we lose him? Oh no, we killed him, that's right. Okay, so each time you increase one of the one of the levels, they do different things. So, for instance, the the Bible has one more projectile, which means that there are now instead of one book going around you, there are two books going around you. Rune Tracer makes a, doesn't make another one appear, but makes damage go up by five and makes its speed go up, so it zips faster. The Duplicator. All of the items that I have fire one more projectile. Which is what we're going to go for now, because it will make quick work of a lot of stuff. I don't know how it specifically works on the garlic. But I do know. See, there's another... All right, so a track orb. Uh, characters pick up items from further away. So basically, where and like and without any upgrade, you have to walk. O you have to walk over the gem. The more a track orb that gets, the further away it runs. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and upgrade the whip some more. Let's see, I took a little bit of damage there, but I don't really want to wander too far away. We'll get some, some meat. All right, so. We're gonna keep upgrading the whip just to get a little more. Okay. Get the treasure. This is this is one of the greatest animations ever. I love this.
So it gives you gold to carry over into upgrades and whatever, and it also gives you the one of the weapons that you have. I don't know if it will give you one that you don't. Just because I haven't... Like, I have been playing this game mainly just to kind of screw around. Okay, so we're gonna... There we go. Okay, another level up. I don't need more experience. Nah, I don't need more experience. Let's get another Bible. And the reason will become apparent here in a minute. Now normally, okay, so I will tell you uh, kind of a little bit of a spoilers, but if you see the clock right here, uh, things don't really kick off until 10 minutes. And that's when, that's normally when I just instantly die. Because I have been focusing on unlocking guys, whoop, or unlocking the characters. Okay, we're gonna get whipped to level five. That kills everybody, which is a good reset. Okay, so here comes the thing. I don't know what this does exactly. But it seems to be at a certain point these go away. But I haven't figured out why. So there's no rhyme or reason to this that I can figure. Maybe somebody else has figured it out, but it just, eventually the flowers just go away. And I don't know if that's from doing a certain amount of damage to something. And now we get the little, we are getting green experience things as well. damage, base damage up by 10, effect lasts longer, sure. Okay, we killed the thing, ready? There we go. So we got more holy water, we got 66 gold. Fires one more projectile, and the area is bigger. Okay, and we're going to freeze more people, because I'm actually kind of liking that. Six minutes. So remember that 10 minute mark is normally where I just eat it. This is where it starts to get a bit much. Okay, we're gonna take the spinach. Ah, uh, we're gonna take the whip.
So the reason I took the whip, if I was actually trying to complete, I probably would have taken the spinach because it increases the damage of everything. But because I am still, there are still things to unlock and I don't remember if I ever maxed out the, I really don't remember if I ever maxed out the, oh, okay. All right, we're gonna reduce the weapon cooldown by 8%. And that may be the end of me. Because normally when the big bats show up, that's when things start going really bad. More holy water, 71 gold in addition. All right. the water holy water some more because I know I haven't upgraded that all the way but yeah it's a it's a weird combination of like hey dodge all these things but also you gotta kill some to get the experience to be able to survive to be able to dodge more things to be able to kill more things but it's just kind of fun that it doesn't have an attack button. Like you're just you're just moving around. Okay, so I can kill those. We're at 9 minutes. I got to try and kill as many bats as possible. Because something really bad is about to happen. Okay, there they all are. I said, like I said, I don't know how to get rid of them. So I just kind of... Start running out of room. Uh, this will max out the whip, so at least I will have done that. Oh, oh, I made it! Oh, now they're crapped on the skeletons. <laughs> I've never made it this far, so. No! Oh, we made it to the 11 minute mark though. So. So I have locked the candelabra, candelabra door? Candelabra door? Okay. Okay. So we've got 235, which is enough to buy probably nothing. Yep. 
so we can buy nothing. Okay, so that's in that's Antonio. Uh, let's play. Uh, what time do I work today? Be wait one. I work at... Okay. We've got time for one more run at least. Alright, so... I think we're going for Imelda. Okay, so she's got the magic missile, which magic missile basically attacks the closest enemy to you, which sometimes great, sometimes bad. Okay, we're gonna get... Uh, we're just gonna get more projectiles. Because that is probably the most helpful. So you'll notice there's a slight flaw is that when you have two projectiles, it aims... in weird directions, because it's trying to aim for the closest one. But if there's one closer than any others, it'll send both of them at that one. Mm, okay, let's... I think the lancet was good. It seems to just fire in. Oh, it goes around like a clock. Okay, that's kind of cool. Sorry. Yep, that was that was a bad plan. Cause see now I've got these are all spread out, which is not optimal. seen some of the other stuff we're gonna we'll grab the axe because this is super dumb it's that's that's the axe it goes up and then it goes down how does that work I don't know Circle back around. Yeah, but without garlic or the the other things, it's just super weird. All right, so let's let's get the rune tracer. That can help me cut through a bunch of this nonsense. Uh, Shields from damage when active. Pick 
the lance. I don't. I don't like the lancet on this character. It makes a whole lot of no sense. But more axe. This is bad. Nope. Just gonna. Don't mind me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Yee. Ah. Go. 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 Whew. Okay. All right. Uh. More magic wand. So the problem is that the enemies come in a somewhat <laughs> uh, the 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 enemies come in a somewhat mm, predictable pattern, but. You can only kill them like the the so the the flowers are gonna show up now. And there's nothing if I had killed more of more of the enemies, I wouldn't be as crowded. Okay, we're gonna go for more projectiles. Yeah, see, I'm not doing enough damage to... I need it. Okay. <clears throat> I don't like any of these, but we're going to go with the lightning ring. Because it's funny, I guess. So the lightning ring just... It's random. You know. Because why not? Random is fun, I guess. I also don't know if the lancet actually hurts anybody. Or if it just kinda... Okay, we'll go with the fire wand, just so you guys can see this. This is completely random. Which again, sometimes random is good. Okay, apparently we killed something. Oh, oh, oh. more axe passes through two more enemies yeah so now the axe becomes 
starts getting more lethal because instead of just hitting one, augments area of attack by 10%. That's actually pretty good. But I would rather have this do more damage. So now we're getting kind of silly. We've got, I've got stuff firing off in random directions. I'm not even really sure. Oop, 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 oop. That was bad. I almost trapped myself in there. Okay, now come the hard bats. Warriors, hard ones. I don't remember how long that lasts, but. Cooldown reduced. All right, we're gonna get some area of attack going here. I don't know if I don't know if that affects only things that already had an area of attack. More magic missiles. 93 gold. We gotta get out of here. No, 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 no. Ah. Okay. So that is that. We got 600. All right. Let's see what power up we can get. Okay. Yes. Hi. Can't, I don't know if you can hear her purring, but uh, Miss Jinx wanted to come say hello. There. I know. So we'll take a little pause. Okay, you're gonna go back to looking at the birds. All right. Oh, and now all the animals. Effects from weapons last 15% longer. Ah. Sure, we'll gain 10% more coins. Okay. So, all right, we're going to do one more run just to, to kind of cap it off. And we're going to go with the, the character that I appreciate the most, but kind of hate. I don't hate it. I don't, the noise bothers me. And I'll show you. It's the, he has, this is uh, Gennaro. He has the knife. He also has the permanent plus one projectile to all weapons. The knife, now the upside of the knife is that it fires whatever direction you're pointing in. The downside is, is that the knife points in whatever direction you're facing, so. And that noise, it's gonna make that noise the whole time. More knife.
until it's... The thing that I don't like is that I have to, like, you have to... You have to face it. Now, if you are quick enough, you can get it to fire multiple directions, like that. All right, we're gonna go... We're gonna go with the, the Santa water. Why is it called Santa water? I don't know. Okay. Augments area of attack by 10%. Alright, so we're just gonna go for... Mm -hmm. Oh, you guys haven't seen this one. So, uh, uh, peach one? Pichon? Pichone? This is just weird. So there's this little circle going around. And it fires at whatever's in the circle. Is this helpful? I have no idea. But see, I don't, I'm already like, I, the, 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 that's already on my nerves. Oh, more projectiles. Yeah, we want more projectiles for everything. But you'll see this guy, he does not level as quickly because it's it's harder for me to... It's harder for me to get everything in the proper alignment. Nice big experience. I'm gonna go around. All right. We're just gonna get the cross. Looking too bad now. Boom, 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 boom. Sure, let's get more experience. I didn't like any of those options.
That gives us a little bit of a buffer. More knife. I don't remember if there are... I don't remember if I've gotten the knife to level anything, so... damage up by 10. Okay, that'll help a lot. So see now we've just got chaos. If we're going to get done with it, we're going to get done with it. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I'm just kind of running around. <clears throat> okay, I can kind of focus one of them down. Try and get to level five of knives. Nope, 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 nope. Level five and knife. Okay, good. Normally, level five is like the 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 tipping point of a weapon. To where, if there's an achievement, it's normally for getting to level five. All right. Um, base damage up by ten. Let's let's have the weird bird guy do more damage. The only thing I kind of don't like is that, that even if you want to focus, like, you can't choose what you want your run to look like. I'm sorry, I believe a bird just took off without a bunch of its feathers. So I'm concerned. And my dogs are not out, so I know it wasn't them.
great. Now how do I get to that? Um, sure. I'm instantly gonna die because I did that. Yep, there's no way out. All gone. All right, so is it this one I want? Yeah, we'll just go back there. Nope. There we go. All right. So there you have it. Um, I am uh, almost out of coffee. It is very cold, but I'm going to go ahead and drink that. I'm going to get ready and head to work. But uh, thank you very much for watching. And as always, play on. <laughs>